All right, today's going to be about, you know, music players or jukeboxes or whatever you want to call them. Um, by default, Ubuntu comes now with uh, Banshee. Let me just get it going real quick. All right, here it is. All right, right now I have a, an older iPod connected to it, which is down here. Um, you know, it's really easy to use. You know, you can, you can um, import your media or, uh, you know, just listen to the playlist, I guess, uh, from the pod iPod itself rather than importing it right um if you want to import the library to your hard drive i believe it's oh where's that uh i don't really use banshee i actually use rhythm box but let me see if i can find it for you import media here it is right here just just hit that and i'll copy it over i believe it's in like in a dot folder not into your music folder um if you don't want to do that uh importing it that way you rather just copy off the ipod it's actually pretty easy to do um, just what I usually do is right click on a desktop create a folder uh, put I iPod uh, click on a the music then uh, press control and A I believe hopefully it'll do it there it goes and just drag it out into the folder and that should grab all of your uh, your music media there it goes 3.6 gigs so I'm going to go ahead and let it do that, and then I'll be back in a minute, or a second, I mean, be right back. All right, it's all done importing, and um, like I said before, to import, you go to your top over here, go media, import media, you know, and select the folder, you know what I mean? Like, I, I pretty much put that folder into my uh, home folder here, in my music folder, there it is. So I just browse for that, basically. If you're to import via your iPod, right, um, I believe it copies into a dot, uh, doc, not doc config, but maybe the dot local folder, I think. Um, if I can find the answer to that, I'll post it in the bottom below, in the description, I mean. Anyways, if you're, um, if you just want to like burn a couple CDs or whatever, if you still do that kind of thing, <laughs> uh, you can with Banshee fairly easily. Um, right now I picked uh, this album I have, uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers Live at Celine's Castle. If you've seen this, this concert, it's freaking awesome, right? Anyways, just hold Control A. I'm sorry. Click on a click on a song, right? Control A, right click, and select a write to CD. And I think Bizario or Bizario should open. Right, then just hit burn. Okay, and uh, you can't really put too much on it, or else it won't burn properly, or you'll have some missing music, I believe. So, you know, Banshee's pretty cool. I like Banshee a lot. Um, it has Last FM, if you want to use that. Uh, as far as streaming music, I don't think it's capable, right? Let me close that off. Uh, what I usually use is Rhythmbox. With Rhythmbox, if you have a Last.fm account, right, it's free. You can stream music from Last.fm for free, right? You can select, you can just basically type in an artist and I'll make like a little playlist. It won't play the artist directly. It'll play artists that are similar to them, I guess, and a couple of their music in the mix as well. So... That's pretty cool to have. That's kind of one of, the re one of the reasons why I still use a rhythm box. But anyways, um, like I was saying before, if you just want to, you know, burn music with rhythm box, it's a little bit more involving. So let me pick ACDC. There we go. Just like same thing. Click on the song. Control A. Right click. I believe it's a uh, new playlist. <clears throat> I'm just gonna call it burn. All right. There we go. Then right click on this. Then create audio CD and the same thing should happen there it goes you know not too hard <clears throat> excuse me anyways let me close that off there's other there's other ways of burning CDs right another program is called uh, I believe gnome breaker there it is click on that and uh, the same idea so if you wanted to uh, you know burn a burn a song you can either browse for the music that's within a folder or just start one of your uh, music applications, I guess. Just use Banshee this time. <clears throat> and uh, you see uh, audio CD. There we go. And just like drag and drop your music into it, like so. Real easy. Then hit burn. You know what I mean? Now you can adjust the, the music. You know what I mean? If you want to put more music on it, you can expand or, you know, the quality, I guess. So that's another way of doing it. Do you want to save? No, I don't want to save. Close. Oh, whatever. I'll just minimize it. Close that off. 
And another music player I like too is uh, Clementine, which is which is really really good. All right. Um, the thing about Clementine, it has it has an option to encode music, right? I'm not gonna go too much into this. I'll post a link to another video uh, by Elder Snake. He went did a little overview about it, and it's really good. It's a really good program. Um, you can actually encode music, like I was saying. Um, say like you have some some oddball formats on your iPod, like problems I had in the past with like some family members and friends. They'll give me an iPod or some music, and it'll be like DRM encoded, right? And as far as uh, breaking DRM, you can't really do that yet. You can on Windows. I'm not too sure about Linux. I haven't actually you know, looked into it yet. But you get some codexes that are like, I, I believe, M4A, right? And let's say you want to, well, what do you call it? So let's say you want to convert those M4As or those other code, other or those other formats into a standard MP3 for someone like me who just, even though I have an iPod, I don't really list, I don't really use it too much. I rather have to use my MP3 player, basically my phone, right? So to convert like you know M4As and other stuff to just a standard MP3. Uh, you can either use, uh, like I said, Clementine to do it, right? Or um, let me grab uh, my sound converter. Sound converter, there it goes. So here's a sound converter, right? So let me um, let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. I believe my iPod has some DRM stuff on it, so I can't really convert that, but I'll give you an idea how to find it. Let me go type file, search for files. Right, so I believe it's a dot m4p. I think it's the the DRM one. All right, let me search my iPod. Press find. There you go. Now I found I found all the uh, the DRM ones. Right. Um, you can do the same the same method to find the other formats like you know like FLAC or or uh, or m uh, m4a or whatever. You know, once you find all that crap, just uh, right click on the desktop again. You know, click on the music, control A, drag it out to your folder here. It should copy it over. And this iPod that I have was actually given to me, so there it has an account on it, so some of the music I can't really, you know, I can't break yet. So anyways. Come on. It's gonna take a little bit. Let me just pause it because I don't want you to wait for 30 seconds. Alright, it's all done. And uh, let's see. Pretty much all you gotta do is just uh, get your folder with all the copy music, right? Drag it to here, like so. <clears throat> Excuse me. Go on top. Edit. It'll show up. There's preferences. All right. It should it should be like this, all right? Same folder as input. Just click on this over here, into folder, and browse for a folder. So I'm gonna create a folder, MP3 you know choose it desktop mp3 open okay then select uh, the format you want to convert it to right so usually it's mp3 of course so that's what my phone takes right so then just pretty much uh, hit convert but it won't work for me because this is the the DRM one so anyways that's just pretty much how you do it um, let me see what else can I show you guys well, I think that'll be it for today. Um, maybe I'll get into get into some other stuff with involving sound. Maybe uh, or maybe uh, I should do wine. So the next video will probably be about wine and some games and stuff like that. How to set it up and and whatever. You know what I mean? If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And uh, and uh, that's it really. So uh, see you guys later.